Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Extra in Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we actually made it to, to uh, 23F. We're about halfway through the, uh, the fifth stratum, but right before we could go back up there and continue exploring, we got blindsided by the fact that the Crystal Dragon had shown back up. So uh, we're going to pick things back up. As you can see, it is not here now, but we're going to pick things back up now. But we want to really stretch out the time between how much we can explore without being completely blocked off. I guess that answers the question of why we can't immediately come up here. It does it does introduce a sort of time crunch sort of feeling, but uh <laughs> and I guess the fact that I would really really rather avoid having to fight that Something's thing again there. makes it a good time crunch, so. Oh, we can make 3 pancakes. Huh. Oh, and that that's it. Still, good though. Pancakes are always very useful. Uh, we could mine, but we could also just go up, so. Hindered by gravity. So we can't immediately go down. We have to uh screw around with gravity for a little bit in order to get where we're trying to go. Yeah, before we do anything wild. Bring these guys back. Alright. I think this is a pretty neat mechanic as far as how it's going to interact once the uh, FOEs... Hmm. It was the other way around last time we were here. Like, no, I... I actually, I think I may be misremembering that. Even though that was literally less than uh, 20 minutes ago. But whatever. And then this. Okay, so we already did that. Further down is nothing. Alright, so I guess we're going into that door. Still... Okay, here it is. Oh! More gravity. Are we supposed to go through the door? Hmm. Well, we'll see in a second, won't we? Alright. So... Don't know what that is. It looks like the weird ramp thing that could curse Capra. That can inflict that status ailment on us further down. Gold slash. A reflex herb to keep us sane. And an Aegis Prayer because that Corrosion Kick is no joke. So it doesn't look to be sturdier than the Stone Steed, which is good. Here you go. Hmm. Looks like it ate that pretty easily. Cursed Assault. Oh, man. Well, all right, then. So, uh, Cursed Capra is exactly what it says on the tin. We... Hmm. Well, as long as we keep the reflex herbs up, the, the people in the back aren't really doing much in the way of damage anyway, so... Yeah. Now, if Yin and uh, Juniper had been affected by this, that would have sucked massively, but... Oh, Cursed Capra dogs the attack. Here, take this. How wonderful. Please, and it's got a splashing attack. Okay. But that it doesn't really matter because Yin... We didn't teach Yin that thing that would make her better against single targets anyway, so... Or, or against receiving single target, uh, target attacks. We maxed out Duel. And then once this Cursed Capra goes down, it's that other thing we really want to fight. It looks like one of those boar monsters we've been taking on all this time. It got away from us last time. Well, really, we wanted it to run, because that would have been extremely bad if it had stayed and fought. Okay. Uh, even though it could... Yeah, it could get a little dicey. All right. It was kind of reckless to turn on auto battle there, but... Eh, it turned out fine. You've discovered a new monster. Cursed Capra. Twisted Horn. All right. So, uh... Ah, okay. Switch there. And now we can go... This way. Okay, it's pretty... The puzzles with this right now are... Fair... Okay, fairly straight... Forward? Huh. Were we supposed to go back? Wow, I, I definitely spoke too soon. Hmm. Huh. 
how are we meant to proceed? Did okay, and we just... can definitely get into a zero gravity battle, looks like. Oh, okay, I missed this. All right. Now we're good to go. It's like um the ice skating puzzles from Pokemon now that I think about it. Uh hmm. What are we trying to get to? Okay. So this is where we were trying to get to. And that must be what that monster was. So this, since we didn't kill it last time, we're gonna fight it. Okay, the battering boar, right. We, okay, still don't know anything about it, but we do know we want to dark smoke it sooner rather than later. And we want to make sure that it can't insta-kill us with its boulder crush attack, because that was no joke. As long as the bladed phasmid is in the back, then we don't even have to worry about what it can so. do. Yeah, I can bind our legs, but okay, cool. Yeah, we're not we're not worried. Luckily, we got all those uh, defensive buffs in there before it um, could jack us up. Now he just needs to do that, and a barrage wall would help a lot too. All right, and it's uh, also not a rare breed, so it's not doing insane amounts of damage. It's just ridiculous amounts. Always good. Here, take this. Boulder Crush again. Okay, we're just barely hanging on there. Another Power Shot. Hopefully we can get this thing, but we're probably... Probably not gonna make it. That's the Bladed Phasmid. Okay, whew! Let's get back to exploring. Would've been nice if we could've healed before we got the kill, though, but, you know, whatever. Battering Boar. Oh, we didn't get its drop, though. Hmm, that kinda sucks. And now we can... Continue on. I was expecting maybe doing this drops Doing it probably does something like drops our ability to Well, I would imagine that being anti-gravity would make it easier for us to um, Get surprise attacked But considering it looks like we've got quite a lot of this to do That would probably be too mean Okay, so that's how we can up here. Uh, let's try going to the side first. All right. Not too crazy. Uh, we can go up, but it's not. Yeah, I gonna amount to much. Hmm. Could we? Nah, let's do it this way. Okay, and I think this... No, we might be one tile too far down. Which is fine. Hey, okay. it worked out for us. We're getting close to level 60 with him. Yeah. We're one tile too far down. Okay. So, the advantage this has over the uh, Pokemon... Ice Path puzzles... Is that we can see our previously tread paths. And then down. So uh, let's go this way next. Um, yeah. Alright, so we're we've already done this, so back up this way. Yeah, already done that too. Okay, so it looks like the goal here... Hmm. ...is to turn off the anti-gravity. How to do that, though? Um... Not gonna be able to come at it that way. Hmm. All right, we took care of them. Um, let's replenish Jagged Tusk. So that's what it drops. Give her a pancake. All right. Hmm. How? Get up there. Hmm. It... Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like we'll be skating around a bit. All right, yeah, we haven't tried it this way yet, but it doesn't lead us anywhere unique. Hmm. How do we... Okay, so approaching it from that side, I think, okay, the only way it makes sense is if we come at it from the south. Yeah, because I'm not sure how we're going to manage to get at it from the north or anything. Hmm. And once we're able to walk around the room like normal, then it will become easy peasy. Okay, maybe... Maybe we should try a working backwards approach. Yeah. Okay. So here is where we want to end up. We want to, we can get there from here, here, uh, that's, this isn't going to happen, but it's still one of the spots here. Hmm. Okay, and there's a straight shot down, or here. Thing is, how do we end up at one of those spots? Oh, well, would you look at that? I thought I was gonna have to speed that bit up. Yeah, well, I probably didn't. Huh. Polonia, if I may. A while back, you thought I'd told Juniper about a private conversation of ours. I've been wanting to ask, let me apologize. My old guild wasn't ever anything to be hung up on, and it's unlike me to not have realized that sooner. Lately, you've seemed to surpass your usual calm into something closer to Zen. I'm a little envious. Apology accepted. Thank you. If I'm being honest, I was guild leader and I called for us to disband once it was clear I was missing something I just couldn't place. <laughs> uh, that's not the case anymore, though. Cool. So that uh turned out to be pretty painless. Well, well, I'm not going to say pretty painless. But we figured it out, which is the important bit. Um, I'm kind of wondering... Yeah, once it hits 6 a.m., we're actually going to Ariadne thread back because we want to get the most out of our time without having to um, suffer through any more crazy fights. Thanks. Well, nah, because I, I really, we're not going to, no. We're definitely going to go back once I can just, uh, well, we got to make it all the way over there. I Holy crap. Okay. Still got to do that, though. Got to do that first. So we got both of them. No issues there. Where's our next? Your hawk discovered ingredients. A moon apple. Which is fine. Did... Okay, cool. Huh. That was embarrassing. Managed to turn... Uh, managed not to turn in the one direction we needed to. What's back here? Okay, there's nothing there. Yeah. Oh, an item box that we cannot get to. At least not from this end. Hmm. There's definitely an FOE over there we can take a look at, but dang. They only got a couple of hits in, but we still took, uh, like, quite the beating. Not good. Is there... Is there any... Any sort of shortcut here we can find? 
Oh, okay, that loops back around to that. Not worried about that, then. Hmm, nope. And it's back to 7 a.m. Couldn't find it in time, but whatevs. Hopefully this will loop around. Okay. What's behind this door? It's not another anti-gravity area just yet. Also, okay, we're far away from that box. I guess we'll we'll swing back around to it in a bit. But yes, Nils, we're going to need to be able to pay our own bills in a second, so we're going to need you to give us back our skills. Pancake for you. Um, and I guess Forest, yeah. Forest berries heal quite a bit for him, so... It's useful... Just get everybody some... Oh, whoa, we burned through all of those. And then our forest honey. Crap. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Oh, nope, almost made a bad mistake. So pretty soon our supplies are not going to be able to support this excursion for much longer, but we're going to hold out for as long as we can, that's for sure. Alright, so that loops back around to there. Probably not going to be anything new. Nope. We are going to fight, though. Alright. Interestingly enough, you've never known true panic like when you're about to you know, hurt yourself due to a curse when you're fighting one of those cursed boars. Though I'm probably saying that pretty lightly considering the enemies are just going to get more difficult from here, but... You know what? Right now I'm not worried about those. What we are worried about, though... Is trying to... Okay, so that's how that loops back around. We can still... Well, wait. Oh, okay. Here it is. Alright. Um, actually, is there anything else past here? Okay, nope. The rest of that is a puzzle for this thing. All right. Is something there? Oh, crap. Okay. And now that we're done with that, Solomon up to level 51. There's uh, nothing up here. But we're back. Uh, I think we came from that way? Hmm. Definitely don't want to make the wrong move here. Hmm. Nah, we should be good. Ah! This was the wrong move. Up we go. Hmm. What is... Okay. So down one. Over... Okay, we hit this tree. There we go! That's what I call progress. Ugh. Don't want to get stymied just yet. Um, it should... It feels like it'll be a straight shot from here. Okay, cool! Thank you. And now let's see what we get as our reward. Let us begin. Stiff branch. Here's another one. More stiff branches. Pliable one. bark, too. Okay. That's a chop point. Alright. We definitely were there. Look at that. We're so close. You know, <laughs> no one think thoughts of game overing here. No one at all. Alright. All we have to do is make it these next couple of steps. And 
We're in. All right. So that was, uh, they definitely made us work for that. Oh. Oh. Well, hey. That? It loops around directly there. Hmm. Well, that's a headache for that's a headache for future Pharaoh fiasco. So, not gonna worry about it. Is something there? Um. Yeah. After walking through the forest for quite a while, you stop in your tracks and wipe the sweat from your brow. As you take a breather, you notice the lush trees swaying in the wild and hear birds chirping above them. You'd been so focused on exploring the forest that you'd forgotten how beautiful it was. And the untamed garden definitely does look like an upgraded tutelary forest, so... Nils suggests taking a break here to enjoy the cool breeze. You're free to agree and rest, or continue on your way. Yeah. You sit back on the grass and let the wind caress your skin. Cool. The party recovers 100 HP and 100 TP. Once you're fully rested, you get back on your feet and continue exploring. Yep. R. R and R. All right. A brief rest. As the weight of exhaustion came down on you, you found a comfy place to take a break amidst all the wild, natural beauty. And please, XP. Only 30,000? Uh, well, it could have been worse, so. Okay, so huh, that's... Something's there. Okay, so we're right back into it then. But now... The FOEs draw ever nearer. Or we can immediately get dropped. Okay. It must be gearing us up to uh, show us something else then. Yeah, let's drop down for a second. Take a moment to smell the roses, see what's going on here. All right, your hawk discovered. Okay, we definitely could use more ingredients, that's for sure. Is it gonna aggro as soon as we step in? Yep. Wow. These things just look more and more deadly as we go on. But we do want to get into a fight before pressing forth. Okay, cool. I was like, when is it going to happen? All right, with those total non-issues taken care of, what we're going to try is seeing if we can get it. Okay, when it's turned around. Nope, just stepping into the room aggros it. Or maybe it's... Oh, it's that thing. What is that? And why is it not moving? Whoa! As you make your way through the forest using the strange device, you see a monster punch another one and send it flying! And it looks like that monster's keen on punching anything that comes near it, be they friend or foe. If you carelessly approach the monster, you'll wind up fist-kissed as well. <laughs> and look, it totally turned the aggro off on the plague demon, dude! <laughs> this is something to keep in mind as you continue exploring here. Well, all right. Yep, the plague demon is not moving at all. Is something there? <laughs> well. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I see. We got to get into position to just zoom past it. Unless. I wonder. I wonder if we can get it to kill it. Or is it only going to go down a set amount? Ah, okay. Even though it keeps beating on it, it's only going to take the set amount of damage. I respect it. Huh, something's there. Go this one down. All right. Oh, everything's anti-gravity. Or maybe just that thing? Oh, okay. That's how you know this puzzle is about to get ridiculously more difficult. Because it made this one brain dead. Ah, here we go. So it's uh, sort of the same situation as last time, but uh, now we definitely want to avoid getting fist kissed. Oh, 
Um, I think if we back up here and then go over one, we'll get to where we're wanting to go. Well, forgive me. So my friends. they can use a thing called iron bullets, which is like a souped-up version of that attack they were using in the first stratum. Didn't know that, so we of course got absolutely mastered. But I'm fairly certain if we do this, uh, how do I? Hold on. Okay. If we do this and then this, we can get to here. Yeah. Potential route. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, and just accept that we got demolished. We're gonna pick things up next time. Definitely join me then for more Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth. Bye for now, guys. Don't